and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be looking at two more ethnicity estimates. That's family tree DNA and living DNA. Um, just to recap, I've taken DNA tests with four of the major genetic testing companies. That's Ancestry DNA, MyHeritage DNA, Family Tree DNA, and Living DNA. Um, 23andMe will soon be coming as well. These videos aren't sponsored. I'm buying these kits with my own money. So over the last two videos, I did MyHeritage DNA and Ancestry DNA. And I suggest you go back and watch those videos first because they're all forming part of a series where I'm comparing all of the kits. And the previous videos, I also explained a little bit more about how ethnicity estimates work and things like that. So I highly suggest you go back and watch them in order. Okay, that being said, let's get to the fun stuff now. So first I'm gonna look at Family Tree DNA. Um, I purchased their kit for approximately 130 Australian dollars, including shipping. I say approximately because um, I had to convert it from US dollars, so sometimes the conversions will fluctuate. Uh, Family Tree DNA actually offers a few different kinds of tests. The one I'm going to be talking about today is their Family Finder test, and that's basically the equivalent of your ancestry or your... Um, my heritage it's the autosomal DNA test. So Family Tree DNA also offers mitochondrial DNA testing and Y DNA testing. I'm going to do future videos on those but for now I'm just going to compare apples with apples. So if you're curious to know what was inside the box I'll link the unboxing video below in the description box but basically this one was a cheek swab test. So let's get to the results. <laughs> Previously on Vanessa Incorporated, upheaval, outrage, and power struggles. Well, it looks like we're back. Family Tree DNA have merged us together. Yeah, we're a uh, conglomerate now. I don't really like to share power. Yeah, well, I'm not too keen on it either. It looks like they can't tell the difference between us. And also, what about those guys? Well, we've been merged together as well. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit insulted by this. Italy has its own proud history. How could they not tell us apart from Greece? <laughs> it might be because the Romans copied pretty much everything that we did. <laughs> well, hello everyone. We're happy to be on the new board for Vanessa Industries. Now, don't you go getting uppity. You're only a trace region. Yeah, so? I've got my 1% here, you can't deny me that. Historically, Eastern Europe has been in contact with the Celts and the Vikings, and we have found one distant Polish ancestor. Hey, did someone say Vikings? Hey, hey, this is a shareholders meeting, and according to Family Tree DNA, you aren't a part of this company. Oh, okay, I'm leaving. This company is in strife. How are we supposed to do business under these conditions? All these reports are conflicting. Okay, so obviously this test is quite broad. So 97% European and then my trace regions were also European. Um, as you can see, you can click on them and get a little bit more detail. So my 97% was British Isles. Um, but that's obviously not as detailed as some of the other companies like Ancestry DNA and MyHeritage DNA, which broke down the British Isles into more specific subregions. One of the trace regions was particularly interesting because it supported the um, Italian and Greek heritage that showed up on the My Heritage test. So I can't help but wonder if there is actually something behind that and maybe there is a trace of Mediterranean ancestry in there. And this is the first time that Eastern Europe has shown up on any test. Um, I didn't really expect any Eastern European. I have managed to get just one line that I think probably goes all the way back to Poland but it must be the tiniest amount. So it's possible that this test is picking up on that. I can see why people might be less inclined to do the family tree DNA test, just because those results are so like broad and generic and kind of boring. <laughs> but 
Um, to be fair, they're probably really accurate, like they're being conservative in their estimate. Family tree DNA also has a lot of other features aside from their ethnicity estimates that are really interesting. Um, they have a lot of other tools on their websites. Since this video is only about ethnicity estimates, that's all I'm going to talk about here, but I will make another dedicated video just going into all of the features that Family Tree DNA has and why you might want to use it. I'll also put a link in the description box to some more information about Family Tree DNA's science behind their testing in case you're interested. Okay, so now let's move on to living DNA. Um, I purchased this kit for 164 Australian dollars, including shipping. That was while they were having a sale though. It's ordinarily more like $184, including shipping. So I do recommend waiting for a sale if you're not in any kind of rush. I'll link the unboxing video below if you're interested to see what was inside the box, but basically it was a cheek swab. Now, I just want to point out that this test was a little bit more expensive than the other three, but it's actually a three-in-one test so you're actually getting more than you get in the others so the other tests are just autosomal dna tests and living dna combines the autosomal dna test as well as a y dna test and a mitochondrial dna test they're all just built into the same package you can't buy them separately um so you are actually getting more so I'm not going to delve into the other two tests today. Today I'm just going to focus on the autosomal section, but in future videos I will show you all of the other features that Living DNA has. So that being said, let's have a look at the results. Again, admittedly, you're already a merger. You're Scotland and Ireland. Yeah, I know. There was just no real way to represent both. But it's even worse when they throw England into the mix. Why am I always the bad guy? I don't know. Should we just introduce the new shareholder? With a 15% stake in Vanessa Incorporated, please give a warm welcome to Europe, North and West. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Uh, we don't quite yet know how I fit in. Uh, it's probably in our more distant past, but hopefully we were part of one of those Germanic tribes that stuck it to the Romans. Hey, sorry. Anyway, uh, with all this talk about mergers, I thought that you guys might want to check the report again and look at the subregions. Huh? So once again, Living DNA has kind of merged Britain all together into this big 85% chunk and then the other 15% being Germany. That region also captures surrounding areas like Denmark, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands, Sweden, stuff like that. But mainly it's focused on Germany, as you can see in the map. So I think this is the same kind of Western European DNA that the other tests are picking up on. Um, and so Germanic, Scandinavian, something like that. So I think the really interesting thing about living DNA is their subregions. Obviously, if you don't have any UK heritage, this bit isn't going to be particularly amazing to you. But if you do have UK heritage, it has an amazingly detailed breakdown of the areas within England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. None of the other tests broke down the British Isles in this much detail. So I highly recommend if you're interested in your UK ancestry, considering doing the living DNA test. Okay, I will also link in the description box um, some more information about living DNA science and how they do their estimate. If you want to purchase a kit from either Family Tree DNA or Living DNA, I will put links down in the description box. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when new videos come up. I upload every Friday. So in this DNA series, I'll be covering these companies in more depth and also showing you how you can use the results to build your family tree. And I will also be taking a 23andMe test when I have the funds. If you'd like to help support this channel, head to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description box. I really appreciate your support. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Who will end up with ultimate control of Vanessa Incorporated? Subscribe to Kindred Genealogy and stay tuned.